There have been five shark attacks in Hawaii in the past three months. The most recent happening just two days ago in Maui, when a father and son were attacked in their kayak. According to the state of Hawaii, all the attacks happened not far from shore. One of them was fatal, and two of them, including Tuesday's attack, no one was hurt. News Nation reporter Howard Dushevsky has more on the most recent attack. When it rose up out of the water, there was a lot of white. I saw white, a, a big, you know, gray and white, and then these teeth, you know, these huge teeth just rising up, the water streaming. It was, it was like, it was like the movies. A professional photographer by trade, Daniel Sullivan didn't have a chance to capture that image on camera, but you can bet it's burned into his memory. I got a really good look at the shark uh, because it. It bit very close to my leg. He says he and his 15-year-old son, Tristan, spotted a mother whale and her calf being led by dolphins about a mile offshore. He snapped these photos just before the calm waters they were enjoying turned dangerously turbulent. Uh, while we were observing them, uh, we had a huge impact come up from the bottom of the boat, and uh, I saw the shark, the whole mouth of the shark came up and bit into the side and pushed the entire boat up and then pulled us back down into the water. He says he started pushing the shark away with his paddle before the two got back onto the kayak only to see giant teeth marks and water coming in. So uh, I said to Tristan, you know, we need, to, we need to make a swim for it. So we started swimming. He had his phone, but it wouldn't work. Finally, some 35 exhausting minutes later, they reached land. The entire thing was was, was, was pretty scary, uh, and we feel really lucky to be alive. We're just happy to be here. It was very scary, especially when we had to swim back with, like, it was very, when it was deep and there's nothing below you and knowing it's right behind you. The kayak was later recovered on shore. Marine biologists are now hoping to get a good enough DNA sample from the bite mark to determine the species. For his part, Daniel says, they kept a safe distance from the whales and followed all safety measures and protocols. We did everything in my mind that we were supposed to do. We did not chase the whales. Uh, they came towards us. We had given them space. They came closer. Uh, they were really close to us. But, um, you know, and, and in that situation, uh, you know, we would have eventually just backed away if not for the shark attacking us. It all happened very fast. There's no... Um, there's nothing that can prepare you for, for that moment when, when you feel like you, your life is threatened. It's, it's just pure instinct. Howard Dushevsky, News Nation.